This book is called Lifetimes and it's written by Brian Melanie and Robert Ingpen. There is a beginning and an ending for everything that is alive. In between is living. All around us, everywhere, beginnings and endings are going on all the time. With living in between. This is true for all living things, for plants, for people, for birds, for fish, for trees, for animals, even for the tiniest insect. Nothing that is alive goes on living forever. How long it lives depends upon what it is and what happens while it is living. Sometimes living things become ill or they get hurt. Mostly, of course, they get better again, but there are times when they're so badly hurt or they are so ill that they die because they can no longer stay alive. This can happen when they are young or old or anywhere in between. It may be sad, but it is the way of all things and it is true for everything that is alive. For plants, for people, for birds, for fish, for trees, for animals, even for the tiniest insect. There are lots of living things in our world. Each one has its own special lifetime. Trees that are tall and strong grow slowly, standing in the sunshine and in the rain. Some of them live for a very long time indeed, as long as a hundred years or more. That is their lifetime. Rabbits and mice grow up in only a few weeks. Then they go on to live for a year or two, crunching up carrots and nibbling at cheese until they grow old and very tired and it is their time to die. That is how it happens to be for rabbits and mice. It is the way they live and it is their lifetime. Flowers and vegetables planted as seeds at the beginning of spring when the earth is warm grow quickly to live through the heat of summer. The days pass and they become old during autumn when it is cooler. Then when winter comes and it is cold, they die. It is the way they live that is their lifetime. Butterflies live as butterflies for only a few weeks. Once they have dried their wings, they flutter and flit from leaf to flower. At first they're bright and quick, but as time passes they begin to slow down until finally they can go no further. They rest for a while and then they die. That is the way that butterflies live and that is their lifetime. Birds grow up quite quickly too. It is often no more than a few months from the time they hatch until they are strong enough to fly and feed themselves. How long they live after that seems to depend upon their size. Mostly, the bigger they are, the longer they will be alive. That is the way that birds live. Some for as long as 50 years. Others no more than two or three, but however long, it is their lifetime for each one. Fish swimming in lakes and rivers or in the sea can be so tiny it is hard to tell that they're there at all, or so big that the only way to describe them is enormous. Again, as far as we know, it seems that the smaller they are, the shorter will be their lifetime, but that is how it is for fish. Their lives can be as little as a day or so, 
or as long as 80 or 90 years. It is the way they live and those are their lifetimes. And people? Well, like everything else that is alive, people have lifetimes too. They live for about 60 or 70 years, sometimes even longer, doing all the things that people do, like growing up and being grown up. It can happen though, just as it does with all other living things, that people become ill or they get hurt. Mostly, of course, they get better again, but there are times when they are so badly hurt or they are so ill that they die because they can no longer stay alive. It may be sad, but that is how it is for people. It is the way they live and it is their lifetime. So no matter how long they are or how short, lifetimes are really all the same. They have beginnings and endings and there is living in between. That is how things are for plants, for people, for birds, for fish, for animals, even for the tiniest insects, everywhere. And that's the end of the story. <laughs>